Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. A monthly tarot reading for August 2019, and uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are to jump straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so the first card which stands for Gemini topic of the month of August is going to be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the second card which represents the peripheral activities the Gemini uh, could go for if they decide to, that is going to be the Six of Swords. Then the third card, it is the uh, challenges that the, the, the Gemini's our need to overcome for throughout the month. This stands for the uh, for that position. The world stands for it. Uh, the four card here is going to be the positive aspect of the month, and this is going to be the eight of swords. And then the last one is going to be the guidance card here, and that is going to be the eight of pentacles. A very interesting month. Um, well, to be honest, looking at these cards, Gemini. Only those who have the voice and the gut to um, go after, you know, to go after their righteousness are going to prevail throughout the months. If you are such kind of a person who leaves themselves on the mercy of others, I feel sorry for you. I, I really do because... The others ain't going to have any mercy for you, for what it seems here with these cards. But before we go there, uh, let's uh, run the cards down one more time. So, Five of Pentacles, it is the topic, followed by the peripheral activities of the Six of Swords. Then it is the challenges here, the world stands for that. And afterwards, we do have the positive aspect, which is the Seven of Swords. And the last card here is the Eight of Pentacles, which points to the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. So, <clears throat> for what it seems, you are to find uh, your resources quite insufficient. And then the resources, I don't mean only money, guys. I mean also time, support, for example, or most likely, you know. And in generally, uh, you are with the Five of Pentacles. This month is going to present you with uh, trifling problems which are appearing at every front. These are small issues, but they're everywhere, all right? And soon and very quickly, you know, you can find yourself a bit overwhelmed of the situation, you know, having here and there issues into your relationship life or into your marriage, combined with the small trifles that you are experiencing into your career and these kind of stuff. And, you know, people at that point, is kind of like they're feeling like under pressure. 
Now the Five of Pentacles is one of the cards where um, people feel miserable, you know, I don't want to sugarcoat it, people feel miserable because um, for a couple of reasons, the first of all, obviously it's the money, you know, money may be insufficient as it is a Pentacle card, but in a more profound level, uh, people were feeling overwhelmed and kind of like a uh, deprived it's that that's because um things are not developing the way they are expecting them to uh to develop due the uh small issues and problems like i said which are appearing everywhere so luckily for you however gemini we do have here the justice card which appeared that is going to be um <clears throat> the catalyst formation passive enemies so justice uh fortunately are giving us or is giving you the key how you can manage that situation you know how you can manage this crisis and the only thing here justice really says is that you need to be organized that's all well it's not all now that i'm seeing the seven of um the seven of wands the seven of uh, swords excuse me in the fourth position Apart from being organized and being able, you know, to scale your priorities and arrange them in a such a way that those priorities are in a um, in a, a chain where you are not going to be overwhelmed, meaning that starting from the smaller priorities and most pressing priorities going for the biggest, you know, and priorities which can be delayed further into the future. As well, the justice here points that you will need to start thinking of yourself right you need to be accountable first and foremost toward yourself toward your family toward your career position toward your business projects above everything else above the others that is right so this is how you are to manage these um issues which are to appear everywhere because you know otherwise you are going to get swarmed by alien problems and, and uh, alien you know demands if you want to say it that way so next one on the list here it is the uh, peripheral activities that is the six of swords not much to be said about this card here it basically points to some very courageous attempts for you to improve circumstances in a field which are rather unsubstantial for you you know for example you do have a hobby uh, a hobby a hobby and you do some investments or some brave moves to improve its circumstances but it's not going to have any reflection whatsoever on your well-being um looking off the other cards or it's not going to resolve any issues in regards to um, the main situation of the topic which regards to either career relationship or the main fields uh, in your life. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the full formation active supporter. So with the full card, it looks like that this is a uh, consideration of doing something new, which is going to be just an additional responsibility, you know, like a hobby, for example on your behalf that you need to take care of in addition to the current undertakings and endeavors that you already have so much to your plate that you need to take care of additionally. So to me, these peripheral activities are only going to obstruct you, you know, of focusing on the main, on the, on the source of what disturbs your life throughout the months of uh, August or what is the real problem toward um, of the uh, in the month of August. So just to give you an example here to make my points more clear ac across, so let's say that you do have difficulties, not, not exactly difficulties, all right? Small disagreements and, and problems into your marriage and into your career simultaneously. And suddenly friends of yours are opening a club, you know, and they are inviting you every evening at that club. Why wow, you really love to join them, that is showing you a complete disregard to the issues at your home, to the issues at your career as well, and these kind of stuff. So you are not being accountable toward yourself, 
but you are being accountable to all the people who are inviting you into these um, into these places. And while this is a courageous move for you to improve the circumstances of your um, happiness, you know, this ain't gonna solve your material issues because this is what we are talking about here in the month of August. Your material issues, which have nothing to do with love, it have nothing to do um, with passion, it have nothing to do with your emotions. You know, it have to do with your money, with your time, uh, with with your sense of trust. You know, with your reliability, with your consolidation. So these are the fields that you need to work over. And the challenge itself, I mean, man, the world, it's, it's a lot to overcome. It's because the world card is the completion. And that being said, the world itself here points that it's very unlikely throughout the months of August to reach any kind of peak of experience or a conclusion. Not impossible, all right, because it's a challenging card. It's not a card of denial, but in the same time, it's going to be very, very difficult. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Pentacles formation, passive supporters. And I will tell you why with the Queen of Pentacles uh, here. It is because you're overlooking a, an, Im an important option available that you are not considering, all right? So in other words, you are being stubborn, okay? For one or another reason, you want the things to happen in exact way that you are having in your mind and you're not daring to uh, consider other option available, which is here to fall unexplored. It is out there for you, all right? It does exist. It's just around the corner. It's the tip. It's in the tip of your nose. But for some reason, even if you are seeing it, you don't want to take it. So for that, uh, for that reason, uh, it will be best, you know, if you uh, reevaluate, you know, your position as soon as these trifling problems are starting to appear here and there. You know, and uh, reevaluate your assets as well, your your means that you do have, and uh, try to use them accordingly. That's that's all that this, these cards are pointing. Do not throw them only into one direction, but separate them accordingly in uh, regarding to the responsibilities that you do have into these fields you are facing troubles and plights. And then we have the positive aspect here, and that will be the Seven of Swords. So with the Seven of Swords, Gemini, your openness and your aggressive attitude is going to pay a, a big benefit for you. And under aggressive attitude, I mean that when you feel righteousness, you have to express that righteousness. For example, if someone is about to throw you on, under the bus and you see that, you know, you, you become aware of it, you have to speak out, all right? You have to stand for yourself because the Seven of Swords, apart from how many people interpret it as a lie, it's actually when someone stands for one's right, all right? And someone understands that it's either used you know, as a tool in our alien battles, someone um, someone is kind of like um, stacking benefits on your account, on your on your behalf. No, it's not on your behalf. It's on your account. It's like you know, taking credits for your work, for example, and uh, or um, it's it's trying to attract you in a uh, agenda that is simply not yours, which could affect your marriage, which could affect your career as well, and so on and so forth. For that reason, you know, when you feel that something is wrong, you have to stand for your rights and uh, simply storm the situation. And that will grant you, for what it seems with the Seven of uh, Swords here, you know, the rewards that you do deserve from all that. Not to mention that is going to help you tremendously, you know, to solve these minor trifles that you are to have throughout the month. The accompanied card here is the star card. One more explosive, a, a combo, which is again a active supporters. So with the star card, uh, the, the star card here only points that these lashes of yours, or rather like a, a backfiring or retaliation, you, you name it, all right, uh, is going to have a uh, long-lasting repercussions to your rivals, to the people who thought that they can use you, all right, or the situations who mistreated you in any way. So simply put, uh, you step for yourself, you step forward to make the things right for yourself, because this time around in the month of August, 
uh, you have to think first and foremost for yourself than for the others. And when I say for yourself, everything that is there for you, I mean, you, I, don't, I don't mean that you have to put yourself in front of your family because obviously if you love your family more than you love yourself, you're going to put your family first. But the point with the Seven of Swords is you put first what you love the most, okay? Some people love themselves the most. And then the last card, it's going to be the Guidance, and that is the Eight of Pentacles. So another card that points that you need to have the eye for the subtleties. Now, since this is a Guidance, it means that right now you don't have the eye for the subtleties. And this is what we were talking about here in the challenges, that there is a, a something which you are overlooking and an option available that you are not considering taking or for some uh, or for some reason you are not seeing it yet. In either way, you need to reevaluate your situation, your positions and the means, you know, the assets that you do have, how in order to proceed forward. And finally, with the Eight of Pentacles, this card here represents, you know, uh, a state of a thing, you know, either regarding your marriage or either regarding your career, which took a long time to be prepared. Now it's almost ready. I mean, it does beg for initiation. So think about, you know, what you kind of like planned for a long time, you know, or dreamed for a long time and etc. etc. And probably right now throughout the month of uh, August, this is going to be a, a flourishing time for you to start doing something about it. And yes, it is with the Ace of Pentacles, another uh, supportive, passive supporters combo. Uh, it does point that you need to take advantage of every rare opportunity that will allow you to further your goal, either regarding career or either regarding relationship. Even more, the Ace of Pentacles urges you to maintain a uh, harmonious flow into your relationships and attend only into those business endeavors which promises success, right? So do not be the errand boy. That, that's the whole point, at least to me. Just do not be the errand boy and do things only if there is something in return for you throughout the month of August. So that being said, Gemini, this was your monthly tarot reading uh, for August 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.